guys welcome back to spooky witches uk um sorry my voice broke um before i get into today's video i need you to go ahead and smash that subscribe button for me so you can keep seeing my face on your screens um also when i get to 100 subscribers i'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my channel so definitely watch out for that and share away um again don't mind the background we're in the middle of decorating plus i'm getting um a green screen so and apologies in advance i've got a cold um so as you know in my previous video we covered the pendle witch trials um today it's around the sim a similar subject but it's about a girl called alice nutter now Alice lived in Lancashire. She was a native of Lancashire. Um, her title was Alice, Alice Nutter of Roughly. And she was one of the women to be tried as a witch in Lancaster in 1612. Now, as I said, if you've not watched my previous video about the Pendle Witch Trials, please go ahead and watch it um, before this one because... You'll just you'll understand what's going on better. Now, obviously, in the previous video, a quick rundown if you've not watched it. Um, they had there was two families put on trial. Um, eleven people in total ended up being on trial for being witches. Um, ten women and one man. Um. But what started it all was Alice and Device and Elizabeth Demdike. Old Demdike and Old Chattox were all arrested. Um, oh, and Anne, which is Old Chattox's daughter. They were all arrested for being witches. Um, and they were all awaiting trial. There was a meeting that had taken place. Um in Malkin Tower, which was the home of Old Demdike, um, to which any sympathisers of the, of the family, sympathisers of the family, sorry, they went. Um, the judge found out, so therefore he went and investigated and a further, I think it was eight people, no, further seven people were arrested. And put on trial for being witches. Now, one of those was Alice Nutter. Now, Alice was a wealthy widow. Um, her husband, Richard Nutter, was a landowner. Um, she, along with many others, stayed true to their Catholic roots um, and their Catholic beliefs. Um, she was described as a rich woman with great estate children of good hope in the common opinion of the world who was of good temperament and free of envy but as she sorry there's a lot of background noise going on at the minute if you can hear the dog barking my um, partner's going out for a walk with my son and the dog goes kind of ballistic whenever, whenever anybody leaves Anyway, so Alice, as I said, she was described as rich woman with great estate, children of hope in the common world, in the common opinion of the world, who was of good temper and free of envy. But as she was among those arrested, this is why she was also tried, like she was put on trial for being a witch, for witchcraft. So Alice was tried at Lancaster along with... The, the others on the 19th of August. Now, if you remember, they took pl the trials took place between the 17th and the 19th of August, 1612. Alice's trial was on the 19th of August, 1612. She made no statement before, during or after her trial except to enter a plea of not guilty to the crimes of the murder of Henry Mitten by using witchcraft, basically. It is alleged that she, along with 
old Demdike and Elizabeth Device had killed Henry, Henry Mitten, after he'd refused to give Demdike a penny that she had begged from, from him. Um, however, the only evidence that was ever brought against Alice came from James Device, who had claimed that old Demdike had told him of the murder. Now, Janet Device had said in her statement, now again from the previous video, you'll remember that she was only nine years old and usually in 17th century law she would not have been allowed in a court. However, because it was a witch trial, all normal rules were suspended. So, Janet had, Janet had said in her statement that Alice was present at the meeting that was held at Malkin Tower. And as we know from the previous video, as I said, she was only allowed to give evidence because this was a witch trial, whereas usually a nine-year-old would not have been allowed to give evidence in a 17th century court. Now, unfortunately, Alice was found guilty and, and was executed by hanging at the gallows on the 20th of August, 1612. Now... There is conspiracies that Alice was actually the one that had called the meeting at Malkin Tower on her way to a secret and illegal Good Friday Catholic Church service and refused to speak in fear of incriminating her fellow Catholics. Because you see, many of the Nutter family were Catholics, with two of them being executed for being Jesuit... Jesuit? Jesuit priests, John Nutter in 18, 1584 and then his brother and Alice's husband, Robert Nutter in 1600. Um, but <sighs> whether or not Alice was a witch, whether or not she was just caught at the wrong place at the wrong time, whether or not she didn't believe that these families that were on trial were witches and that's why she'd gone to the meeting to to basically support the families like like I said whether it was just a case of wrong place wrong time or whether she was actually a witch or not I could never tell you but that is the story of Alice Nutter but that is it from me today guys um I do. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I probably will not cover any more of the Pendle witches, um, but I am going to visit the when COVID's permitted it, basically. When I'm allowed to go, I will go, and if I can record, I will record the experience for you, but I do suggest that when we have no restrictions in place and stuff like that and you're free and clear to move around, please, please, please go and visit Pendle. It's such a beautiful place um, and they do witch tours at Pendle Hill as well. Um, but if I can get up there and I'm allowed to take my camera, I will by all means get up there and take the camera because it is such a beautiful place. But I do urge you, especially if you're from the UK, to go see it yourself. If you're not from the UK, again, still go see it whenever you get a chance because it's worth it. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys all on Tuesday afternoon. I love you. All of you. Stay safe. Stay spooky, witches. I will see you later. Bye.